let's look at this task so what we want is let's say you have an image and you want a particular pattern to be retained uh, in from that image and remove everything else so let's say this is the, uh, let's use this image as an example and what we want is we want you just want to keep these horizontal lines in this image so the output should be somewhat like this right so what we will do is we will use a horizontal structuring element some uh, a structuring element whose shape is somewhat like this right uh, by structuring element, I mean a pattern, a filter, a kernel, whatever you want to call it. We will use that and using that filter or kernel or structuring element, we will perform erosion on this image. So what will happen is everything which has the same shape as that structuring element will be retained and everything else, every other pattern will be removed. And right here, you can see that my structuring element uh, was a bit narrow. That's why you, you can see the the height of this uh, horizontal line this height is uh, has been minimized here it's 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 not the, exactly the same height which was here before uh, we can change that in our code and we'll just see how to do that to do this operation we will be using erosion with a horizontal structure element so uh, let's see another example similarly for vertical lines if you want these vertical lines to be retained we will use a vertical um, vertical structuring element and the output will be somewhat like this and the operation will be the same or is erosion with vertical structuring element let's see how to do that in code let's write some code I'm going to start off by writing importing the in, uh, important libraries and then let's import our image import it and I'm going to read the image in a grayscale therefore I'm writing this zero here let's visualize our image okay let's run it so this is your image and let's start off by keeping the vertical lines so first of all let's do that so we want we want to extract these vertical lines right let's get the structuring element for that so our kernel is equals to numpy ones and the shape of the kernel should be a vertical line basically so it means 11 rows and three columns you can play around with it and you can change the value so you can maybe use seven rows and maybe three column so it will be a um, its height will be a bit less if you use seven you can use your you can use whatever the height or width you want okay let's give it the type numpy u and eight and then this is our kernel let's apply erosion for that i'm going to save it in vertical lines was to cv2 dot erode we have a function named as erode give it your image your kernel and the iterations which number of iterations that you want which we want one right now and that's about it let's see the output there you go you can see these lines their width is very less as compared to the original ones we can uh, we can correct that let's make it five instead of three and let's see what happens now um no 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 it's it has reduced it more five is not working why let me try it with nine Let's see, it should, it should remove, yeah, okay, 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 let's keep it three. How about we do it with one, <laughs> let's see what happens. Yeah, no, we don't want these lines here. Let's keep it three, and what about if I move it to, I don't think that's gonna affect. 
Yeah. That's uh, that looks better. Way better. This looks better. Okay, let's do the same thing for horizontal lines. What we need to do is we just need to change this. So now for horizontal lines, the rows should be less. So let's use three rows and let's say 15 or let's say 13 columns. Let's see what happens then. Again, this should be changed. Instead of vertical, I should write horizontal lines and horizontal lines here as well. The rest of it is same. I'm going to comment these out so that we won't see them. Okay, okay. But this is not good. I don't want that. And you can see this, this is happening here. Right? There is some part here which is vertical. Where this line is crossing. So we don't want that. Uh, for that, let's just increase the value. Let's make it 15 and see what happens. Still not working well you can see this here let's make it 19 and see what happens good cool so we have removed all the uh, all the lines we just have the horizontal lines again can I increase the width or uh, not the width the height here let's try what about if I give it to yeah it's better what about one I, I think one won't one will introduce horizontal components uh, vertical component you see these are the diagonal components here some some of the diagonal components here one is doing that so I think two sounds better looks better <laughs> that sounds better all right so there it is